Here we will talk about a wood-fired power plant consisting of a Zeal 130 engine and a downdraft Burt gasifier. We will also talk about the experience of building such a plant. You will get detailed data on fuel consumption, electrical power obtained, etc. We will compare the words of tinkerers about allegedly getting 100 kilowatts of electricity from such a system with the real data obtained at the institute. Is it possible to get 100 kilowatts of electricity from a ZIL engine on firewood? How much heat can be obtained from such an engine in the form of hot water? What volumes of water per hour could be obtained, and how much heat will the engine lose? Let's talk about this. A short introduction. Being engaged in designing gasifiers for about 10 years, I noticed a trend of our people towards bootstrapping in terms of DIY creation of generators based on internal combustion engines and electric generators. In general, they use engines from Lada and Zeals. Recently, a viewer of my channel made the wrong conclusion that if Wikipedia states that a 1.6 liters Lada engine outputs 54 kilowatts of power at 5,400 RPM then it will have the same output when working on firewood. Let's do the math and see if this is true and how to calculate for yourself what results you can get from this or that engine. Today, the biggest engine you can get is from a Zeal truck. It's cheap. I have often witnessed that these trucks were scrapped because of their high fuel consumption 40 liters of gasoline per 100 kilometers. So, getting an engine from such trucks is easy. It is cheap, affordable, and has the largest displacement, 6 liters. It is known that generator gas has a slow, sluggish flame propagation front. This means that if converted to generator gas, the ignition angle set to gasoline, about 10 degrees, will cause the gas to burn out in the exhaust pipe glowing it, like in sports cars, leading to overheating, wear, or warping of the exhaust valves. Therefore, the angle should be changed to about 30 or even to 40 degrees earlier, so that the mixture burns only in cylinders. Engine RPM is also extremely important, the less engine RPM makes, the better it is for the generator gas. The high RPM causes the gas not to ignite in time and fly out into the exhaust before it burns. This can be aggravated by spark jump when a bad spark plug has no time to ignite the gas. That's why big gasifiers are sometimes equipped with two spark plugs for each cylinder. A Zeal engine is slow speed or low RPM which is better for generator gas. Historically, there are two types of electric generators available, 1500 RPM and 3000 RPM. 1500 RPM is fine for a Zeal engine. From time to time I get a call from tinkerers reporting that they have built a wood-fired electricity generating station based on a Zeal engine. For example, the last one told me that he squeezed 100 kilowatts of electricity out of such a homemade station by increasing Zeal engine compression to 11 and increasing the engine volume to 7 liters. Is this true or not? Let's take a look. Further, you will be surprised. A non-operated Zeal engine has a compression ratio of 6.5, while the generator gas will do well with a compression ratio of up to 14. Some researchers speak about a compression ratio of 17, I have a video about how to achieve this. The higher the compression ratio, the lower the fuel consumption, and the more electricity can be squeezed out of the generator. This is why diesel engines with a compression ratio of 22 consume almost half as much fuel as gasoline cars with half the compression ratio. Therefore, diesel engines are the best man-made invention, although they, in fact, copy the principle of the ancient steam locomotive, and we have been driving on this stove with the side effect of mechanical energy for over 200 years. Mankind has nothing more compact to produce mechanical energy. But let's go on. In the scientific work I am talking about, an engine with a compression ratio of 10 was used. This work was elaborated by Cubans at a Moscow Institute. In Cuba, there are places where there is and will be no electricity, but it is possible to get light and heat through wood-fired cogeneration by using such stations. The Zeal engine, apparently, was chosen as the most affordable. There are still tens of thousands of these trucks. Apparently, the authors wanted to mass-produce such stations based on such engines without even bothering to uprate them. Probably there are a lot of Zeals left in Cuba, as well as in all other post-Soviet countries. Such systems are often scolded for being short-lived, but one very important fact is overlooked which few people are aware of. According to calculations performed by Soviet engineers back in the days when wood-fired cars were produced in assembly lines, generator gas reduces the load on an engine by two and a half times. This means that the engine will run longer. 
field experiments by the same engineers give a figure of 50%. In the USSR, such generators were produced based on Zeal, GAZ, Volga, and Moskvich engines. The biggest generator AB60 was based on a Zeal engine, but today it is in short supply. There were two mothballed stations for $2.5,000, but they were instantly bought out. Only AB8s with Moskvich car engines remained. It's hard to find generators even with Volga engines. By the way, I converted such a generator for firewood with good results. If an engine is operated to a compression ratio of 13 and a modern cold spark system with a microprocessor is installed, it is profitable to export such generators to the West. If you are willing to become my partner, see my WhatsApp in the description under the video. As fuel, the Cubans chose a tree that has spread through their country like the plague, I understand it has spread like a weed, dicrostiki scenario, marabou. It occupied 1.25 million hectares, which is 20% of the country's arable land, or 12% of the country's total land. It was decided to make electricity from it. A Zeal engine at a compression ratio of 10 was able to give 45 kilowatts of electricity at fuel moisture of 9.2. This is reasonable because a military AB60 station produces only 60 kilowatts with this engine, although with a low compression ratio of 6.5. Maximum exhaust pipe heat is 78 kilowatts, but with a total loss of 38%, there is only 42 kilowatts. The thermal efficiency of the engine is 24.6%. Some of the heat produced by a cogenerator with a Zeal engine is dissipated naturally. According to calculations, its share is 13.38% of the generated heat or 8% of total heat. The system totally produces 880 liters of hot water per hour from three heat exchangers. The maximum efficiency was 24% for electricity and 32% for heat. Electric generator efficiency was 95%. As we can see, not 100 but 45 kilowatts of electricity came out. We can see that the declared engine characteristics of 123 kilowatts reduced to only 45 kilowatts of electricity when converted to firewood, i.e. 2.73 times less. That is, if you want to convert an engine to firewood to get electricity, the declared power should be divided by 2.73 with a compression ratio of 10. This is the way to get real engine power on firewood. Afterward. The Cubans' idea is good if a country is not rich and wants to create such cogeneration plants. Zeal truck engines are the most suitable for this if such a country is not capable of producing its own operated gas piston engines and wants to create jobs and an entire industry branch. In your comments, please write why prime ministers and energy ministers of our countries don't want to launch the production of such plants and develop this direction. What stops them? Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I will make another interesting video.